If I was to drop it right now, my last thought would be I've had a good life. Lord, give me a sign. Show me DMX is a snarling yet soulful rapper who had a string of number one albums in the late 1990s and early 2000s, but whose personal struggles eventually rivaled his lyrical powers, died on Friday, 9th April in White Plains, New York. He was 50. DMX was seen on video dancing along to the Jackson 5's Heartbreak Hotel just days before he landed in the hospital due to a reported drug overdose induced heart attack. A time for crying and a time for laughing, a time for mourning and a time for dancing, a time for throwing stones, a time for embracing and a time for avoiding embraces, a time for, ooh, ooh. Time for embracing and time for avoiding embraces. What? Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. A time for searching and a time for losing. A time for keeping and a time for throwing away. A time for tearing. A time for repairing. A time for keeping silent and a time for speaking. A time for loving and time for hating. A time for war. A time for peace. I mean. Like I said, it goes back to, you know, you're going to start with a prayer, you're going to do this with a prayer. Yo. There are no words more powerful than the book. And your prayer, your own prayer, will do a lot better than someone else praying for you. Here's the question yeah. about these features. Yeah. Are oh, this the new generation? A couple. You got a little TJ on there? No, not, not that new. Okay. Not that new. Also um, new, like Rick Ross new? Nope. I got a... Uh, Meek Mill new? Nope. I got a... Um, I got a uh, Griselda Boys. Mm. Griselda. Pop Smoke. Yeah. Mm. Wait a minute. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. And, hold on. That's what type of new I'm doing. Did you meet Pop Smoke? No. So, oh, so, oh, what? The growl, I, I guess it was just a coincidence, you know what I'm saying? Wow. Like this, I heard wow. it so like, uh, uh, okay, uh, okay, uh, yeah, 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 yo, Pop Smoke is you and 50 Cent Baby, it's true. Yeah. <laughs> if you and 50 Cent had a baby, that's Pop Smoke, that's true. That would be oh, awesome. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. the other one. Yeah. But he would have the baby. <laughs> <laughs> he would have the baby. <laughs> yeah, it would be ours, but he would have it. I did. <laughs> When I, when I speak to people, I look them in their eyes. You know what I mean? And as I look across the room, I see myself. I see myself. I've been in difficult situations. Mm. The reason why I reached out today, today's the one year anniversary died for four and a half minutes, mm. exactly one year ago. Mm. And I realized that God gave me another chance. Yes, so when I woke up this morning and realized this was that day, I said, you know what? Who can I be an inspiration to? Who, who can I be some form of motivation to? DMX, whose real name was Earl Simons, was born in Mount Vernon, New York, to a single mother, Arnett Simons, on December 18, 1970. He began rapping in the early 1990s and released his debut album, It's Dark and Hell is Hot, in 1998, to both critical acclaim and commercial success, selling 251,000 copies within his first week of release. He released his best-selling album, and then there was X, in 1999 which included his hit single, Party Up, Up In Here. His 2003 single, X Gon' Give It To Ya, was one of his most popular songs. I don't hear you. 
No. I could, I could, I could drop dead right now. No, you're not. Am I that? No, no, no. Listen what I'm saying. Listen what I'm saying. Listen what I'm saying. If I was to drop dead right now, my last thought would be, I've had a good life. God damn On April 2nd, 2021, at approximately 11 o'clock p.m., Simons was rushed to a hospital in White Plains, New York, where he was reported to be in critical condition following a heart attack at his home, possibly resulting from an overdose. On April 4, Simons' former manager, Nakaya Walker, stated that he was in a vegetative state with lung and brain failure and no current brain activity. On April 7, his manager, Steve Rifkind, stated Simons was comatose and that he was set to undergo tests to determine his brain's functionality, which would allow his family to determine what's best from there. Simons was pronounced dead at age 50 on April 9, 2021, after suffering cardiac arrest according to a statement released by his family. May his soul rest in peace. Yo, it's your boy DMX, and um, I feel like it's time. You know, time to share something personal, live, 7 p.m. Eastern time. And if you know me, you know that um, if I don't got nothing to say, I ain't gonna talk. So I'm gonna have something to say, All right? Seven o'clock Eastern time. Let's get it. Amen. Yo, what up? Top dog, Grand Champ. DMX, um, there's a lot of new artists out there, I mean, and a lot of new talent, so if you think you're that person, no, if you know you're that person, DM me, I mean, because at the end of the day, it's all about spreading the love, I mean, and making sure that, that, that everybody that wants to be heard gets heard, and there's going to be some people that I don't really feel like need to be heard, but at the end of the day, it's also about giving a fair shot, right, get at me, dog. Uh,